Hi, this is Dosbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Champions of Grin. Yeah, we're restarting the ogre base. We're just outside. We're going to enter. You've entered a small ogre encampment surrounding a large fortified manor house. No one's around at the moment. So apparently what we're supposed to do is go into one of these... Okay, since we haven't met anybody yet, let's flee. And see... And just duck into the first room and get to. An aged ogre sits in this room. He peers at you quizzically. You are from the Salamnic Knights, not Mertani. Well, I have a proposition for you. Interested? The ogre continues, and you record it in Journal Entry 24. Uh, which is... Very close to the page where the copy protection question was. I was once a counselor to the ogre princes... But I've become too weak and crippled to keep my place. Now I hear of plots against our Lord Gravnak by one of his lieutenants. Draconians have flipped into the manor house and will strike when the current meeting ends. I watched them enter and saw the secret sign they gave the guards. I have no love of these assassins and the traitorous ally. Use the sign to enter the manor, seek out the assassins, and find evidence implicating Morag. He's a traitor. His rooms lie in the southeast of the manor. He shows you the secret sign used by the assassins. Then he leaves. Okay, so now... Let's save the game at that point. Uh, we'll try save game B. Now, if we run into any patrols, we should be able to show them the secret sign and be able to get by peacefully without getting into trouble. The entrance to the manor is guarded. What do you do? Let's greet. The others are gathered in the north rooms. We haven't seen you. They ignore you and study their weapons intently. So apparently they're mistaking us for the assassins. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can pull up the area view. Okay. Yeah. Now, to our east, here's Morog's offices. Um, there are guards, but if we defeat the guards, we can find evidence of Morog's betrayal in the office. To our west... These are ogre barracks. And then the southernmost room here, there should be somebody hiding under a bed that'll tell us where the assassin team is. And then the room next to that, yeah, Gravnok's personal guard. And then the room next to that, should be guards protecting the assassin team. And then past that, are some more guards. And then beyond that over here, are the assassins, which includes our first Oroch Draconian. Oh, so I think we better go this way first. Yeah. Then, I mean, there's a couple of rooms here that we could go into, but they're not 
really that important. Okay, so let's move. And I think we'll go this way. And up here. We don't want to go in that door to the north yet. That will take us right into the big meeting. Now, that's Morogue's bedroom. I mean, there's a ton and a half of steel there, but what do we have that we can use steel on anyway? His offices are in this room to the north. Six ogres are guarding this room. One starts to greet you as you enter, but another shouts, There are only draconians in the death squad! These are spies! Okay, so we need to take out half a dozen ogres. Ooh, which isn't that hard. Or easier than I thought it would be. Hmm. Okay. An area has that wonderful girdle of giant strength on. Now, Viserys just had a lightning bolt spell handy. He would be in such fantastic shape. Now... Yes, yeah, possible to rest in any building, but there's also a chance that we could be interrupted by an ogre patrol. So I'll have him switch back to the sword. In fact, since these are large creatures, maybe a two-handed sword would be good. Maybe. I mean, the ogres aren't casting any spells or anything, so if we can get through this battle without using magic, we can just do a fix afterwards. Which might have a better chance of success than trying to memorize spells as well. Oh, yeah. Overkill. Overkilled, overkilled. Okay, just the one over left. Okay, very good. And no treasure. A search of the room turns up an agreement between an ogre named Morogue and Mertani. It implicates Morogue in the assassination plot. Okay, so let's encamp. We'll save. And fix. And save again. Yeah, you might remember the ogre caves from pool of radiance and there was Princess Fatima, another self-rescuing princess. The daughter of the chief from the nomad camp. Yep, no princess in this one. Rats. Okay. 
Oh, okay. I think this is basically... That's the door to the big meat, which we're not quite ready for yet. Okay, these are... Barracks. To our left. And we don't have any particular need to go into them. Although they wouldn't attack us. You have stumbled into the main ogre barracks. What do you do? Uh, greet? The barrack sergeant rushes up to you and whispers, You guys shouldn't be here. Now all these guys are in on the plot. Your place is up the corridor, third door. Now get! So we got. Okay, and then what's in this room? An ogre dives under a crude wooden bed when you open the door. He cries out, I'm on the wrong side! Grabnuck's in the meeting hall. The rest of you are two doors up. Go away! He whispers, what do you do? Oh. He's no challenge. A dozen ogre bodies are lying here. They seem to have been someone's personal guard. Uh-oh. Okay, now in this next room. A group of ogres is sitting around a table, sharpening their weapons nervously. When you enter, one looks up and points to the northwest. Another says, Aren't all the assassins already here? What do you do? You can bluff your way past, but... You'll have to fight this group anyway when you're confronted by the next group. So, just attack. So otherwise, you'll have to fight him when you go in the next room anyway. So, yeah. So, here goes our turbocharged area. And Danny misses. That's yeah, this be serious. We'll switch back to his bow. Now, of course, with the ogres being so large, it's kind of hard for enough of them to get close in enough to attack us and be like his probably his two-handed sword okay I think 
there might just be those two rovers left. John took some damage from that one over. And gave the damage right back. Oh! Okay, no treasure. So let's encamp and we'll save and fix. I don't think we've used any spells in the last battle, so we'll just save again and exit. And the next group of Ogre Guards should be one room to the north. Spies! shouts an ogre. Well, that takes care of it. But at least we don't have the ogres from the first room joining yet. I think after we get done with this battle, I'll get people healed up. We'll get just outside the room where the assassin team is, and we'll probably end the recording maybe a bit early. because I should think fighting our first Aurak is going to be tricky and I don't want to rush it at the very end of the episode. Okay, just the three ogres left. Good job, John. Okay, there's just the one over left. And then Rob will have switched to his bow. Okay, and then switch back to his sword. And that's it. Just a little experience. No treasure. Okay, so let's camp. Okay, copy protection question. Speaking of copy protection.
Protection was the word. Okay. Oh. Getting kind of tired anyway. Right, we'll go just a few steps further. Okay, we're going to go north two spaces. And we're going to go east two spaces. And we're going to encamp here. And we will save because the next room is where the assassin team is led by our first Orac Draconian and that's going to take a little while to show properly so we'll end the recording here and we will see you in the next episode